I'm so demotivated, completely uninspired. I mean, I, I was hoping all year that, you know, as 2020 would come to an end, hopefully COVID will, will let us go and things would improve. And, you know, we were almost there. We were almost there. Just last month, I was, you know, there was, there was, there was hope. A lot of countries had COVID in control. Things looked like they were going to improve. And then, and then really, really, in a, in a, in a real stupid move, a lot of world leaders just started opening up. And, uh, and before we know it, it's, it's out of control again. And I, I would have never thought Malaysia and Indonesia would be the new epicenters of COVID. Malaysia, I mean, in Sabah, they had, they had an election rally or something, and now they have a new cluster. I mean, why? Why on earth would you do that? Pakistan. They've opened schools and, uh, and suddenly there's a surge in cases again. Now we're hearing cases of people we know. Just two days ago, a very dear friend of mine, his, his mother uh, lost her life to COVID and his whole family was infected. And now we, you know, in our neighborhood, everywhere, we're just getting this news, you know, one after the other. On the internet, you can see it's happening again. And all over the world, America is, wow, I mean, I can't understand that the leader of the free world, the most powerful man in the world, gets COVID, comes out and tells, and tells the world, if you get COVID, don't be scared, it's all right, you know, go out. Come on, man, I mean, how, do you, how can you say that? How can you encourage people to be careless? I mean, these leaders are trying to go towards herd immunity. If you really want herd immunity, you should start with your own family, start with your own loved ones. Do they realize, you know, that they're really, really destroying destroying people's lives and I'm not going to blame leadership only. What about people? What about you and me? What are we doing? Why are we so careless? I mean, what's going on? Why can't we just be slightly, slightly more careful? I mean, Bina just, just, I mean, her, her father passed away a few weeks ago, so she had to take a trip to Karachi and she came back last week and uh, Bina, hey, how are people behaving in the flight when you came back? Oh, there was no social distancing. There were like so, so the whole this whole airline control thing is done. Yeah, like the Out of window, control. window and aisle in the middle seat was uh, left, uh, you know. Yeah. But no, all the seats are full. The whole plane was full, and there was um, uh, one couple who got married in Lahore, yeah. and they were coming to. Um, uh, they, they, they got married in Karachi. So they were returning from the wedding. Returning from the wedding for a. For the, the reception, Valima. Valima reception. And in they're Lahore. going to have a Valima in, in, in Lahore. Yes. So they're going to have, have, have a Valima in Lahore. So, you know, this is a, and, and no one's wearing masks. No, actually, the masks were down. So, you see, I, I fail to understand what people, why people are taking this like a joke. I mean, it's not a joke. When you, when you lose your life, when you lose somebody you love, your parents, your family, it's, it's not funny. It's really depressing. I mean, I was really, really hoping that that be a little bit of normalcy returning to life. It doesn't look like it, man. It's sad, very depressing. We should get out of this often, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm really depressed. Yeah, we should. We should, we should get out and take a little drive. Yeah? Just a drive. We can't go anywhere. We can't, we, can't, we, can't, we can't see our friends. We can't go to the shops. We can hardly get out of the car. We can't even buy groceries. We, we can't even buy groceries. Online. We're back to square one. Square one. We're back to, yeah, we're back to where we were. We, you know, that's what's, you know, that's what's depressing because I was hoping that, okay, there's some relief. You even put nail color on. Look, look, look. I did and it always hoping, happens whenever hoping, I do. Hoping that you know that. Yeah, I, you know, I can, you know, relax and dress up and, you know, relax myself. Get out of the house, maybe. Yeah. It's not happening. But I have to do cooking. I have to do washing now. <laughs> Which is fine. Nothing wrong with that, but, but it's just. In, I mean, we're not complaining about having to do all that, thank God, Alhamdulillah, that we are capable of doing that and we're doing it in our own home. So anyways, you know, just a humble request to, to people all over the world, for God's sake, just, you know, it'll take two, three months, be careful, for God's sake, just don't blame your governments, your leaders, I mean, blame yourself. No one's forcing you to be careless, no one's forcing you to not wear a mask, no one's forcing you to misbehave. Please, 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 this has become really tiring. The whole world is suffering. People are su suffering economically, people are suffering in, 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 in any form and way. People are suffering, people are losing their lives, people are dying. Just please be slightly careful, please take it seriously. It is not a big deal if you take it seriously. Yeah. If, if you just, you know, handle it right, this, this thing will go away, inshallah, God willing. But if you don't take it seriously, this thing's going to stay there and really, really just... It's sad, very depressing.